Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about how we can use the Casio 991 Gx calculator to solve Gauss serial based methods very quickly. Now this forms a part of the numerical analysis and computer programming chapters, system of linear equation problems, which comes as a part of UPSA CSE math optional paper 2. Now we use the spreadsheet mode to solve these problems. Now let's see what these problems exactly are and what's the solution approach to them. So we are given a system of linear equations like so and we need to basically solve these iteratively here. We don't have to come to the exact solution but an approximate solution. An initial guess of x1, x2 and x3 is given to us. So the first step here is that we represent the first, second and third equation in the form of x1, x2 and x3 respectively. So what we get is x1 is equal to minus 1 by 8. 1 minus x2 minus x3, x2 is equal to minus 1 by 5, 16 minus x1 minus x3, x3 is equal to minus 1 by 4, 7 minus x1 minus x2. Now, in the first iteration, we assume all of them are 0. In the suppose k plus 1th iteration, we can write x1 k plus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 8 1 minus x2 k minus x3 k where these values are what we obtained from the previous iteration x2 k plus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 5 16 minus x1 now here we use the value of x1 k plus 1 which we have found here, not from the previous iteration. Minus x3, this is the previous value because we have not calculated x3 for this iteration yet. And x3, k plus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 4, 7 minus x1, k plus 1 which we have calculated here. And x2, k plus 1 which we have calculated here. So this is how we solve the problems and we can continue on to these iterations until we find solutions of suppose x decimal places or so. So let's, now let's try to solve this using the calculator. Now before we do that, I will just quickly tell you how the spreadsheet mode works. So go to menu and to the spreadsheet mode. Now here it's almost like we have an excel sheet at our disposal. So we can easily write and fill formulas in this. If you want a separate video just explaining how this mode works, I can do that as well. But in this video, I'm just going to talk about how we can use the spreadsheet mode to solve core serial problems. Now let me quickly come to the now let me just quickly come to the to solving three two one. Now let me just quickly come to how to solve this problem. Three, three, two, one. So I have made this sort of a table. I think making this table should be enough in the examination. Instead of writing each step one by one, it will take up a lot of space as well. If I were giving the exam, I would have written it this way. So I have iteration value of k, x1, k, x2, k, x3, k and the value of x1, x2, x3 for the next iteration which is given by this particular, uh, these particular equations. Now initially x, so, so for iteration 1, k is 0, x1, x2, x3 are taken to be 0 at the start. And we are going to mention the same in the first column of our calculator. x1 is 0, x2 is 0, x3 is 0. Now, uh, from, from this particular uh, equation, we can say that x1, k plus 1 is given as this. So now let us write this formula down in our calculator. So for that, what we will do is, option, we go to the B1 cell, option, fill formula number 1. And formula is going to be minus 1 by 8 times 
1 minus x2 will, will be stored in a2 and x3 will be stored in a3. Here you don't need to consider k, k, k plus 1, k plus 1, you know, just write it without these iteration uh, superscripts. So, okay. And x, similarly, we write the formula for x2 here, fill formula. So, minus 1 by 5 times 16 minus a1 minus a3. And here, again, fill formula, minus 1 by 4 times 7 minus a1 minus a2. So, now our uh, system is ready. Now we just need to try to solve the equations. So I will just confirm the formula minus 1 by 8, 1 minus a2 minus a3 minus 1 by 5, 16 minus a1 minus a3 minus 1 by 4, 7 minus a1 minus a2. Right. So in column A, the values currently are x1, 0, x2, 0, x3, 0. And the values in column, in, in cell, rather, cell B1 is x1, k plus 1 right now. Now, we will copy this value into A1, which will give us the value of x2, k plus 1. So, the value uh, in A1, I am just going to write, is equal to B1. So, alpha B1. So, this is going to be the value of x2 1. Now I am going to copy this value into a2. So that is going to be a uh, so alpha b2 that is going to give me the value of x3 k plus 1. Now I can just copy this in my uh, sheet. So that is going to be minus 0 0.125 minus 3.225 so just copy this here to get the exact value so I am going to write alpha b3 so minus 2.5875 now in the next iteration, these become a uh, these these x x one one x two one x three one. So I'm going to write iteration two k will be one zero point one two five minus three point two two five minus two point five eight seven five. Now we have already got the new value of x x1 which is going to be this so i'll just copy this here so alpha b1 alpha b2 alpha b3 these are going to be the new values of a1 uh, sorry x1 x2 and x3 so i'm just going to copy those down minus 0 0.8516 6 minus 3.8878 minus 2.9348 and now let's move to iteration 3 
next same process <coughs> alpha b1 alpha b2 alpha b3 these are going to be the new values so minus 0 0.5 Minus three point nine eight two five minus two point nine nine. Now let's go to iteration four. Minus zero point nine seven seven eight minus three point nine nine two five minus two point nine nine. Following the same process again. Alpha B one, Alpha B two, Alpha B three. Give us minus zero point nine nine six six minus three point nine nine seven three. Minus two point nine nine eight five. Let's do one more iteration and end it. See, it's very easy to do any number of iterations now. Again, alpha b one, alpha b two, alpha b three. Give us. So I'm just going to copy this again. Minus 0 0.9966, minus 3.9973, minus 2.9985, minus 0 0.999, minus 5, minus 3.9995, minus 2.9998. I think we can end here. So, this is going to be our answer after fourth iteration. So, I can just write that down. It's not getting dropped for some reason. So, finally, we can write our, write our answer as x1 4 is equal to minus 0 0.9995 is to 4 is equal to minus 3.9995 x3 4 is equal to minus 2.9998 this is going to be a final answer this is how we do the Gauss thank you